Hi guys, it's Balint Sere here, founding member of Procrawler RC. Today I'd like to share with you my C1V1 build that managed to finish second place at ISRCC 2023. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's start with the chassis. I'm running the FlatGecko C1V1 SEG chassis, the aluminum version, in a chassis mounted servo setup for the scale points. And then I also opted to go with the 313mm wheelbase because this is what fits my Toyota SE70 body. I'm also running side sliders to give the hard body a little protection, but I'm not running any E-trays. And then to mount the body, I'm using the flat gecko body mounts. So let's continue with the transmission. As you can see, this is our Grind 331 FM transmission, which is a forward motor mounted setup, as this works better for class one builds because it leaves more room for the interior within the body. And then it can also be set up to have a lower CG. This transmission also provides my car with 31% overdrive, just in a forward mounted manner. For the axles, I'm running AR44 based SSD diamonds with all axial internals and brass knuckles also from SSD. I love them because they are plastic housings so they slide over the rocks easily and they also have an incredible steering angle so it's easy to maneuver around the course with these axles. For the wheels I'm running the Stone Rocker V1 1.9s because they are a perfect size for class 1 trucks but I'm going to upgrade to the V2s in the future because they are even more durable and they are better looking in my opinion. These wheels make it super simple to adjust my track width and they are super lightweight as well which is useful in the case of a heavy class 1 truck. For my tires I'm running the C1 version of the Tusks from J Concepts. They have very amazing grip and I'm running them with their stock foams because I feel like they are just perfect the way they are. As you can see I'm running the Truxus Big Boards on this truck as well with the shock cap mod and Losh Immunity springs and 30 weight oil but as for the springs I opted to go with the orange ones, the most firm ones because I feel like these are firm enough to keep the truck steady even with a heavy hard body on it. My bumpers are custom made, I hit up a friend and we built them together. I wanted to get them as high clearance as possible, while also being legal for class 1, and I think we did a really good job and they look great. I feel like I have a fairly nice set of electronics in this car. My servo is the old and trusty Torres 7 from Procrawler, as you know already, it is super strong fast and reliable, so I just love using it. For my motor, I'm running a Fusion SE, which is waterproof, which I love in this car. And it's also super smooth and easy to set up. And I love that it doesn't come with a lot of wires. For the winch, I'm running an NSDRC RS100 micro servo, and it is very fast, I'm telling you. And it also fits very easily on the front of the chassis because it is super tiny especially for how strong it is, and I just love it so much. My hard body of choice is this uh, SC70 body from Killer Body. It is very heavy and I don't think it is very practical for class 1 competitions, but I feel like it looks just amazing without the stock bumper. And I also bobbed the bed so that it is now significantly shorter and doesn't hang up uh, as much and uh, yeah I feel like it is an excellent lo looking body and I love looking at it on the rocks but it is very heavy so that is something to keep in mind when you are building one of these trucks so thank you for watching and see you soon cheers